everyone, I'm Anna He. In this part of the video, we are going to make a costume. It is going to be made with this beautiful stretchy Ponty fabric based on the character Handler from Season 2 of the Umbrella Academy. Let's start simple. We are going to start with the skirt and then move on to the jacket. So in our previous video, we talked about how to thread all the different um, thread tracks. So for a chain stitch, it requires the green thread path and then the purple thread path. Um, I already have that threaded, so let's get started. The first step we're going to do is chain stitch to two um, side seams for the dress. Sorry, for the skirt. The seam allowance I have is 5'8", which is just about the first um, number, the first guy, about one centimeter for um, seam allowance. The exceptional thing about sewing with a chain stitch machine is that I will very rarely run out, run out of bobbin thread because the thread is just whole cone. Just like sewing on a regular garment. I pin the side seam together first, or you can needle, you know, hand baste it. At the end of the seam, I would just run off a long tail end then use the build-in clipper here. Well, my first seam is done. It definitely has quite a bit of stretch. Um, we're gonna proceed to the other side. And then now I have the two main sides done. This pencil skirt has a vent at the center back. So on my pattern, I have um, a patterned in a vent. So I'm gonna sew the center back seam and then just turn a right corner at the top of the vent and stop here. to like put my hand in here which is just what I'm used to but for this machine I have to train to use my left hand to kind of lift and uh, lower the presser foot still getting to that point manually lower the needle and then just like regular sewing I'm going to lift my presser foot and turn sideways it has enough reach here for me to maneuver a little bit and then I'm going to lower my presser foot and then stitch across
The top of the skirt, we are going to use an inside elastic waistband. Um, it does require a different stitch, so right now I am going to concentrate on all the portions that needs a chain stitch. So the dress, uh, sorry, the skirt is now considered uh, done partially. I'm going to move on to the jacket. In the beginning of the video, I show you guys how many pieces I cut for each pattern. So I think because my jacket is self-lined, I am going to start with the princessy. I love that this fob machine comes with its own little sewing table so I can just work on it pinning my pieces prior to sewing. Now that I have four pieces pinned, I am going to start sewing. That's the last of the front princessing for both my shell and my lining. I'm gonna move back to move on to the back princessings. Following a similar process as the front, I pinned the princess side. Oh, I don't know if you can see it. I printed the princess panel to the princess seam to the center back, and I'm just gonna stitch it on. Just like that, my two back panels are done. Next, I'm going to work on the sleeve. For the sleeve, because it's like a suiting kind of jacket, I made the sleeve a two-piece sleeve so that it would have a under panel and then a top sleeve panel and then two seams, one that's closer to the front and one that's closer to the back. Now that I'm ready to sew my sleeve, I have the inside sleeve seam pinned. This is the seam that's closer to the front. The back sleeve seam will be stitched after I have him the sleeve opening. Now that we have the front and back princess seam sound, it's time to finish the lining layer and the shell layer. 
We are now going to attach the side seam of the back lining to the front lining layers and then the shoulder seam the same way. Off camera, I already have everything pinned, so I'm just gonna get started sewing. So now my joint seams and my shoulder seams are done, I basically have the body of the jacket done. This jacket is really cool. It has a peplum in the front and then a swallowtail tuxedo kind of finish in the back. So I'm going to join the side seam of the front peplum and the back tuxedo together. This costume is of my favorite color combo, black and red. For the black accents, I am going to use a wet look um, vinyl trim that I cut out of a yard of a fabric. Um, I cut it about an inch and a half wide to make a 3-8 binding finished. So, I, off camera, I already pinned the binding to the edge of the center back of the swallowtail and I'm just going to gingerly sew 5-3-8. Um, Too bad. I was really concerned and that that's why I was going so slow. So with the stitch down it still offers a ton of stretch but once I flip this over and now we have a nice binding finish. I'm just gonna proceed to finish the other side. So with this done, now I'm ready to attack, attach this to the top shell. Now that we have the binding one edge sewn on, it's finally okay to attach the swallowtail and the poplum onto the top of the jacket. Um, off camera, I already have everything pinned, so I'm just going to sew this. This jacket also has the binding around the neckline down to center front and then the bottom of the peplum. Before we do that though, I do want to stitch on the line, the stay stitch, the lining, uh, the lining layer to the shell layer so that when we apply the binding, it's a little bit less cumbersome. So let's get started. Off 
off camera, I stay stitched the lining layer to the shell layer around the neckline and the center front all the way from the to the peplum. Right now, I also pin the black binding on the neck edge and the center front edge so that I can use the chain stitch to continue sewing. I left the underlap center front edge empty. Um, I might add a tool tape to the underside to add some stability so not everything is stretchy while it's at the center front button up. There are some really tricky corners around the neckline. Make sure to check out some of the YouTube videos to figure out how to bind around corners. Now that it's stitched on, I'm just going to use hand stitch to attach the back side of the binding to finish the edge. While the jacket is in a good place with its binding partially so on, I'm going to move back to the skirt where we are going to add the two um, vinyl stripe on the side seam. So off camera, I have pinned this vinyl trim on the front half of the side seam uh, just around the edge. So you can see the um, close-up image right here. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to stitch about a quarter inch away from the edge of the binding um, so that I can then fold it over and then top stitch again. Here we go. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold to the middle of the seam, fold this in half, fold the binding. Oh, let me get closer. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold this binding in half and then flip it over and then sew it again. Okay, 
かもしれない。I really like how this finished. And it still stretches. I love it. So the next step, we are going to add the elastic to the top of the edge. So now we're on to the waistband of the skirt. I just added an elastic loop that is comfortable around my waist and then pin the middle part of it through all the corners which means I have the end at the center back and then fold it in the elastic in half and point, pin the other end to the center front and then line up the center front and center back of the elastic loop again and then point the edge uh, and pin the edge to the side seam the same with the other side so I have the four um, I just pinned off my elastic. So now I'm gonna start at the center back. Now that we attach the elastic to the outside of the skirt, we're just gonna fold this in and then cover stitch across the top to hide the elastic as well as give us a very nice and stretchy finish. Just gonna overlap the beginning of the stitch to secure the seam. Just reduce the tension slightly. Oops, pull too hard there. And there we go. Here's the top edge. I'm gonna trim the extra threads. It's a nice, clean, finished top edge for the skirt. And now, just really quickly, I'm gonna keep the same stitch and just cover stitch the bottom hem. I already pinned the hem up about an inch folding this, uh, the vent in, the top vent in, and then the under vent is just gonna be laying flat. This is so cool. The skirt is done. Here's the nice piping in the side or just binding. 
and I have the jacket to finish. The next thing we're going to do is to hem the sleeve. To hem the sleeve, I'm going to use the same stitch I used to hem the skirt, which is the cover stitch narrow stitch number 24. Now that we finished the sleeve hem, it's time to finish our other sleeve and seam. I'm switching back to the chain stitch uh, configuration on my machine and using only two threads. Okay, now that our sleeve is set, it's time to set it into the armhole. I'm so excited, we're almost done, you guys. Okay, we're almost at the end, and I just pinned a bazillion pins into the armhole, attaching it to the sleeve temporarily. And there are some areas that are pretty bulky, but I trust that my machine will be able to punch through. So, staying with the chain stitch, we are going to start from the underarm. And my sleeve is set. Because when I was working on uh, setting the binding on the skirt so well, I'm going to try instead of hand stitching to machine stitch, to machine top stitch on the edge to uh, stabilize this, um, this binding. So I fold the binding towards the back and because my binding is very wide, I cut the trim to be an inch and a half and my binding width, the bind width, it's only 3 8 so I have more than enough in the back for it to be caught. Similar to the way I'm stitching the binding, um, binding trim at my skirt, 
I'm just going to edge stitch on the face side. So it is nice and neat and so much faster than hand catching stitch. My thread totally popped. I love that tool. Okay, onward. We're on the last edge, of course that would happen. Guys, this looks amazing. I'm so glad that I am machine stitching the binding down instead of hand tacking, which would have taken forever. Oh, so many extra threads. I have to clean that up later. But I am so loving this result. Oh, there's a lot of pins in here still. Okay. So I think I'm gonna do the same thing to the center back swallow tail um, and I'm gonna pin it off screen. While I was pinning the other binding, I realized I missed out the bottom opening. Also has a vinyl trim. So I quickly pinned that and let's fix that issue.
Excellent. Now I'm gonna turn this back and uh, paint and then we'll be on to our last sewing operation. I'm gonna go ahead and 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 I